Well, good morning, good morning. Hi, everybody. This is Lady O here with your Marketplace Daily Devotion today. It is a beautiful Wednesday morning. And, you know, today I have just been soaking in just worship. You know, you may can hear my may can hear my music in the background. It's a, actually it's a, a four hour worship medley that sometimes when I just want to just bask in the presence of the Lord and just you know, just forget about the fast pace of what life brings us each and every day. And of course, you know, I had a little I had a little motivation in that because Monday I think I overdid it at the gym. You guys know I've been losing weight and I've been working out, trying to just, you know, focus on uh myself this year and, and God, my relationship with him, tightening up my relationship with him and also focusing on my body. So many times, especially those that are in, in leadership positions, so many times we get so caught up and to just you know, doing things for others, uh, working on committees, you know, being bosses, you know, <laughs> making sure everybody else's life is together and right. And we forget about ourselves. And so, um, you know, this year I've been focusing on me. Um, and so Monday, you know, I was doing weights at the gym and I, you know, found out, you know, last year or this year when I had my bones, I think it was this year, yeah, earlier this year when I had my bone density test, that for people over 50, it's, it's more important uh, that we focus on building our muscles because, you know, you start losing uh, muscle mass, you know, after 50, I don't know what percentage they say it is every, you know, decade or whatever, but you want to um, really focus on building muscle. So, of course, I started doing weights. And I think I overdid it Monday because I was, like, barely moving last night. And so I just, I just, you know, um, <laughs> it makes you thank God for when you, on days when you really feel good and not sore everywhere. I kind of felt like a truck had run over me this morning. But nevertheless, you know, I, I still have to get up and go. And so this morning, I just kind of took my time, spent a, a few hours just in worship. And um, just want to say how much I thank God for just being God. You know, I thank God for just being God. And that's what we're going to be talking about today is God being the Lord of all, Lord of hosts. He is our Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He is Elohim, our creator God. He is Jehovah Nisi, you know, our healer, our banner, you know, Jehovah Rophi, our healer and our, our banner, the God that, you know, when, when we can't look to anyone else, we can look to him because he's our banner. He's our provider. And so uh, we're going to be talking about uh, that today coming from Isaiah 31, the 31st chapter and the ninth verse. So if you are able to go ahead and take your break, it's about 11 a.m. Eastern time here. Uh, go ahead and and do that. Uh, get your coffee, your tea. I'm kind of uh, haven't eaten this morning, just kind of fasting a little bit and just, um, just wanting to just just kind of be in the presence of the Lord. And so I wanted to come to you and give you this devotion uh, because, you know, we are talking about the book of Isaiah this month. And, and uh, that was what Isaiah was sent to prophesy to the children of Israel, the Judah, uh, you know, the ch children of Israel, the Israel had split up into two kingdoms. And so he was sent to prophesy to Judah. And, and it was because they had put more trust in their surrounding nations than they had in God. And so I want to encourage you this morning to just trust God, <laughs> you know, just trust him. Even when you don't understand him, just trust him. 
And so Isaiah 31, 9, it says, terrorize that rock solid people will fall into pieces. And these are people who, you know, sometimes we put people on pedestals, whether it be our leaders in church or whether it be people that we hold as idols, you know, movie stars or whomever, you know, sometimes we put people uh, uh, in, in positions they shouldn't be in and are, are in places on our heart or in our heart that they really shouldn't be in because only God should hold the seat uh, to that. And so uh, is this is talking about how people in high positions uh, will fall to pieces when God, you know, when God judge. And so it says their leaders scatter hysterically. God decree on Assyria. His fire blazes in Zion. His furnace burns hot in Jerusalem. Why? Because Jerusalem was the capital and that was where God's temple was. And he was showing the people of Judah that, you know what? He's well able to protect what is his. And I want to let you know this morning that God is well able to protect what is his. Whether it's uh, giving him your health, whether it is trusting him to take care of your needs, what, whether it is trusting him uh, to give you the desires of your heart, God is well able to take care of those who belong to him. Don't trust in chariots. Don't trust in horses. Don't trust in men. And you know, that was what uh, uh, Judah was trusting in in that day. But in today, I would say, don't trust in money. Don't trust in people that you hold in high esteem because they'll let you down. Don't trust in your job. Don't trust in, you know, the gold or the money that you call yourself got on reserve or have in the bank. Don't even trust in your own wisdom, but trust in God. Trust in him. Hallelujah. We're living in a time where we must trust in him and lean not to our own understanding. And so the word terrorize in, in, in here, it means to create and maintain a state of extreme fear and distress in someone. Uh, you know, I don't want to live my life being in terror and in, in, in an extreme state of fear all the time. I don't want to live my life like that. And I know God don't want you to live your life like that. In this chapter, God warns about looking to others instead of trusting in him. He says to them, woe to those who go down to Egypt for help. This is what Judah did. They trusted in another nation instead of trusting in the king of kings, the Lord of lords. God is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He says, woe to those who go down to Egypt for help and rely on horses, who trust in chariots because they are many. Woe unto them. Like I said, many times in our lives, we make that mistake on relying on other people in high possessions uh, or, or even things like our education or even our own skills, even, you know, our own wisdom. When, we, when, when the word of God has, has clearly told us that the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Yeah. The wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Judah trusts in Egypt for protection against the Assyrian invasions, which was both foolish and unnecessary. <laughs> God would protect Mount Zion if Judah had only just trusted in him. And he was going to protect it whether they trusted in him or not. <laughs> An invitation to repent to God who will deliver. That's what God is offering you today. Maybe you have been trusting in your own resources. Maybe every time you think, you know, you got it together, something comes along and just, you know, uh, put, a burst, uh, put a hole in that bubble. Maybe every time you think, you know, you got just a little bit of money saved, something comes along and take what you think you put away. Maybe today is the day that God is inviting you to just repent 
and say, God, help me to trust you. <laughs> because of how great God is, because of how terrible the, the alternative of serving him, <laughs> or we should, we should feel compelled. Amen? We should feel compelled to, to return to him. When we've messed up, when we've made mistakes, no matter what, we should feel compelled to, to come to him because guess what? He's standing there with arms wide open. You know, he, 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 he's the God of the prodigal. Yes, he is. He is the God of the prodigal. Don't let your pride stop you from looking to him. <laughs> like I said, because of how great God is and because of how terrible the alternative of serving him are, we should feel compelled to return to him. Repentance means turning toward God and away from anything that we have put in the place of God. Yeah, because that, that classifies as an idol. Anything that we have put in the place of him, anything that we spend more time in than spending time in him, that's an idol. And we see it, to be honest with you, all around when we worship money, when we, you know, we, we, we spend all this time trying to build our careers, when we spend all this time, you know, uh, investing more into others than we do in our time with God. It is an idol. Our children, our family, our spouses can be an idol before God. And let me tell you, God says, he said in his word, I will have no other God before me. God does not need us. We need him. As Judah found out. The Assyrian army devastated almost the entire land of Judah. And camped on the outskirts of Jerusalem. Waiting to conquer the nation by defeating the capital city. <laughs> oh, but God. Hallelujah. It says that God simply sent an angel. He didn't even need a whole army. He simply sent an angel of the Lord that killed 185,000. Not 185, 185,000 Assyrians in one night. <laughs> That's enough to make you shout right now. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Sometimes we spend so much time trying to work things out ourselves when God is saying, if you just trust me, I already got you. I got it figured out. Just go somewhere and sit down and trust me. Stop worrying. Stop complaining. Stop criticizing. Stop. Just, just stop. And that's why, you know, I took this morning to just say, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to worship you. And it's been so beautiful since I got up. Just hours of just basking in the, the presence of God. <laughs> one night. One night. 185,000. When the people of God woke up. There were 185,000 Assyrians dead, dead soldiers. It was a victory that had nothing to do with the sword of a man. <laughs> Let me tell you, God will fight for you, dear hearts. He will fight for you. He's the Lord of lords, King of kings. Whatever you have need of this morning. You know, whatever you have need of, put it on the altar and trust him. God was more than able to protect Judah and Jerusalem. And he's more than able to protect and take care of you. Let's pray. Oh, Father God, today we just, we thank you, God. We thank you for another day. <laughs> I thank you that I have the ability to wake up sore. <laughs> yeah.
because somebody somewhere they didn't wake up on this side when they woke up God they were in another place in another sphere in another dimension but I thank you that you saw fit to allow me God to partake in just another day and I pray this day God for courage for those that may be listening to this daily devotion, that you would give them courage, God, no matter what they're facing, whether it be in their business, whether it be in their home, whether it be in their own personal life. Maybe they have some addiction that they've been trying to kick, God, and it's just been hard. Drug addiction, alcohol addiction, porn, God, whatever the case may be, God. Give them the courage to trust you in a world that's full of lies, in a world that has that has promised them all kind of things and has let them down. Give them the courage to trust you. I, I know it's hard sometimes to depend on you when it feels like everything is undependable. But help us, God, to trust you. Help us to differentiate, to differentiate between your truth and the sin and the lies that is all around us coming through social media, coming through other things. Show us, God, what it looks like when we fully put our trust in you, regardless of all the things that has happened to us in the past let today be a day that we can say, today I choose, today I choose to lay it all down at the altar and to trust God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. This is Lady O here. I love you guys so much. And I just want, I just want God's best for you so much. That's all I can say. I just want his best. Develop that relationship with him. The way you can hear when he says, you know what? Give me today. Just bask in my presence today. And you will find that it's so well worth it when you do. <laughs> and until next time, this is Lady O here saying I love you so much. Smooches. Mm -hmm.